This is a quick tutorial on how to turn your Adobe XT mockups into a 3D iPhone. This is a free bit of software called Rotato. It's pretty good because it can take simple images, rotate them around, give you different views that you can export, which look quite nice. And then it can create a little movie that will animate and play if you want to export it to you know, whatever you're doing here. So you see there, that's quite a nice piece that you could put into some work. The background color, you could always do a green screen effect, remove and put onto whatever background you like. So lots of features. That's going to show you how to get the free version of this up and running. So you need to start by going to rotato.xyz and it'll let you try it for free. Now the full version does have a few more bells and whistles. So that little red strip is gone for a start. But it's a good way to get started, especially if you're a student and those things don't really matter. So here we are in Adobe XD and I've got a really simple app done here. Not trying to show off any great design skills, just making something which you can show. If you go to plugins and then manage plugins, you can just go and search for R O T A T O, Rotato. A bit like potato, but not. And there it is, you can see it's installed on my Mac. So in my plugins menu, you can see it's just there on the side. With the plugin, that's not really gonna do anything. You've got to have the software downloaded from potato.xyz and you've got to have it installed on your computer. Now, if you've got a Mac, you're gonna have a slight problem because when you go to install it, you're gonna get an error message saying, cannot open. And to get around that, just hold down the options key and then it'll just give you an option to open it. That's a security feature. Anyhow, now we've got this done, I'm gonna go and choose the artboard, which I want to simulate. I'm gonna choose the first one, which is just this one. It doesn't really matter because you're working them for all of your designs. Anyway, the first one's created. Click on Rotato on the side here, and then send to Rotato. You see, there it is, and it's dropped in. Now, it's already flying around because I've already selected these various bits of animation. So I was gonna show you just what to do with this. So I'm just gonna delete what I've got done here. And these aren't anything particularly special. All I did was I went through to the animations tab top right. It's got a few options there. And you can see that when I just hover over, they'll animate for me. I'm gonna choose the first one there and click on the add button. Maybe add another one, just add the, doesn't really matter. Now if we go to the play button in the bottom left, it'll cycle through all of these transitions. And that's gonna give me quite a nice little display. Now maybe I'll choose some and think this isn't really quite what I want, and I can just move this around, I can delete them or whatever. Or maybe I can go to looks, I can go to change the background here, just selecting the tiles. Um, the device can have various different colors, so that's a nice pink iPhone or a black one. I can choose shadows, I can choose various pieces. Um, obviously, if I'm using the full version, it works a bit differently, and I can just navigate myself to zoom in and out and spin the phone around. Anyhow, when I've got a look which I like, I'm going to choose this one here. I can just choose snapshot, and that will take an image, which you can see that right. I can click export. And that will now go onto my computer, which I can save into documents or wherever I want for my work. If I've got my movie, which I've got around here, and think this is really good for my promo stuff, I just go to render movie at the top here, and it'll save it as a video. And I can choose some other areas. Now, 60 frame rate second is recommended. That's really good quality. Choose good resolution. Higher, if better, is always good. But most of the time, you could live with uh, sound HD, which is 1080p. Always go for the higher quality rendering because that's going to give you the best quality video and you want a good quality product. So then just click render and I'll go for you. So those are some ways to export things. I won't go over into how to remove this background because that's a different video about using different software. But if you just search on uh, YouTube of how to green screen with whatever software you've got, like iMovie, you'll find quite a few things out. So cool bit of free software, definitely worth upgrading if you want to work professionally. But as a student, this is a wonderful piece of kit for video prototyping and displaying your amazing designs.